Now that we are done with the inflow mechanism, we're going to have a look at the well outflow mechanism. So if we just take a quick look on our um, well schematic again, uh, as a reminder, the inflow mechanism is the mechanism that allows the fluids to go from reservoir to the bottom of the, of the well. And the outflow mechanism that we can see in red is a mechanism that allows the fluids to go from the bottom of the well to the surface facility. Here we're going to describe the fluid pass from well bottom hole to surface. On that uh, drawing over there, we've got PR, which is the reservoir pressure, PBH, which is the bottom hole flowing pressure, PHTB, which is the hydrostatic pressure in the tubing, Delta P tubing, which is the pressure loss in the tubing. We've got delta P choke there and there, which is the pressure loss in the choke. Then we've got PHFL, which is over there, which is the hydrostatic pressure in the flow line. Then we've got delta PFL, which is the pressure loss in the flow line. And we end up with PSEP over there, which is the separator pressure. To get the liquid to uh, go from the well bottom hole up to the production separator, the bottom hole flowing pressure that is required basically needs to overcome all those pressure over there. So it needs to be equal or higher to the separator pressure, the pressure loss in the flow line, the hydrostatic pressure in the flow line, the pressure loss in the choke, the pressure loss in the tubing, and the hydrostatic pressure in the tubing. As you notice, uh, when you need to calculate the bottom hole flowing pressure, the method is always to start from the point you want to reach. So in our example, the separator, the production separator. And uh, so you start with the pressure of that point you want to reach and you add all the pressure that you uh, meet all along the path. 